the tithes and the offering are the inheritance of Levi which are pastors or prophets today. Whenever you say a puff pastor carry money, a buy jet, that means you are blaspheming, telling God you don't know what you are doing. I'm not talking about myself. I'm teaching you, be careful, my members. Don't see pastor and say, hey, this one, na money church, na church money. It is their inheritance. Let me give an example now. I will teach you, those men of God that said, you should not tithe. I will teach you that you are blaspheming and you are contradicting the word of God. Every man that sells Obono eat on the dividend that comes from the Obono he sells. Everyone that is a teacher eat from the salary of his sweat. Every doctor eat from the services he has lended to you through operation or through medical implication. If you deprive any teacher from his salary, you are making the teacher to go astray into stealing or robbing or taking what belongs to the student or the teacher. God called the prophets, we call them Levite, which are now priests, before Apostle Paul break them into different groups, evangelists, prophets, etc. Please pay attention. There are prophets or servants God called to shepherd his sheep. If those sheep go astray, God hold them responsible. How can you be a shepherd without being paid? You pray. I teach you what I hear God say. And you pray. I connect you with God. And God answer you. I'm an errand boy. As Gehazi. How can I receive my wages? The way I receive my wages is God will answer you. And now tell you. I have blessed you. Pay the percentage of what I have blessed you so that that my servant will not be wary of going to the mission. I, the Lord, am sending him. When you refuse to bring return, that's why I say you are cursed with a curse in tithe and offering. Because without bringing it, the, his servant, which we are, will be wary. Sir, any work you are working and you are not getting dividend from it, you will be tired of doing that work. Somebody say, how can God provide? God provide through the true servant he called. That is why he said, cause be unto any shepherd that scatter his sheep. Jeremiah 23 from verse 1. Take your seat please. I want to emphasize something before I preach. Jeremiah 23 from verse 1. He said, woe to the shepherd who destroy and scatter the sheep of mine. It is God or not ours. Of my pasture, says the Lord. Now, the shepherd that scattered the sheep. Why are they scattering the sheep? They are scattering the sheep because no return. They now go looking for who will give them a peanut. You see why he said that the priest, the shepherd has deferred his name. In Malachi 1 from verse 6. Many don't understand this. Connectivity of scripture is the connectivity of the Holy Ghost. He says, a son honor his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reference? Says the Lord of hosts. To you priests who despise my name. Yet you say, in what way have you despised your name? He said, they offer the far food. You go after people that are not holy to collect money from them so that you can able to sustain the work of God. 
and God receive humiliation and disgrace. If God call you and you have a global vision to establish his temple, he will give you the gift and the miracle so that those that will bring return, the house of God, like what you are saying, when you see a man establishing empire, that is the one God has called because that very word God has put in, in him is creating dividends. Okay, the message I give to these pastors, is it me that wrote it? God taught me that for almost six hours. And that word gave me a couple of millions. How? God put his word in my mouth. But if you are a God servant and people are under your ministry, you say given to you by God, and people are not being blessed, then you are not called. Amen. Jeremiah 23 from verse 21. Please, I don't judge. To 22. He said, I have not sent this prophet. I have not sent them. I have not sent this prophet. Yet, they ran. I have not spoken to them. Yet, they prophesy. Prophecy without solution is not of God. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear, to hear what? My words. Then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. A young man that says, I don't know him, I'm not speaking to him, the one that get brought a word and brought this. The person was given to him and said, Go to US, see this, see that. On the 17th, appointment will come. Go into America. God put that word in me. Very good. Exactly on the 17th, they gave him letter in America to come for this interview. God put that word in my mouth. You see how many that will not understand will say, how is this man operating? I'm operating because it is God's own. Now, if God blesses you and you receive, you refuse to bring return, you see it is a cost because you are depriving the movement of God. That is why it's in the book of Malachi 3 now from verse 8 to 9 and 10. He said, you, he said, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what have we robbed you? He said, in tithe and offering. You are caused with a cause because you are an enemy to stop the movement. How do we know a true servant of God that God called? This Romy 18, 18 to 19. He said, when a prophet speak in the name of other gods, it will not come to pass. But when it come to pass, that is the thing I have spoken. And that is what I have put in, in the mouth of these prophets. Look up here. The tithe and the offering are the inheritance of Levi, which are pastors or prophets today. Whenever you say a puff pastor carry money, a buy jet, that means you are blaspheming, telling God you don't know what you are doing. I'm not talking about myself, I'm teaching you, be careful, my members. Don't see pastor and say, hey, this one, now money church, now church money. It is their inheritance. Let me give an example now. Imagine a desert today, coming to great days, standing as proprietors. You say, look at this girl. Are you mad? It is my own. It is her inheritance. The tithe and the offering are the inheritance. God said it. It is not man that said it. It is the inheritance. God gave it to them. Numbers 18, 21. God gave it to them. It is the inheritance. He said, behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tithes in Israel as an inheritance in return for the work, for the services, for the errand they are doing, preaching for you, jumping, teaching. Many people, there are people, you are a visitor, you are a principal. You know what I'm saying? There are people that will come for someone only to talk. You give them 500,000 for the sermon. A comedian will come for a comedy. You buy a ticket of 1.5. This is his inheritance. He talk 
to be paid. I also talk to be paid. Now, if my work is a spiritual work and the God backing me, he's telling me what to tell you and you are excelling and you refuse to bring return, the ogre, which is God, you are disobeying him. You are robbing. You see why I say, you rob me. People say, how can I rob God? You rob God because you are, he is the, the VC. I am the lecturer. The way he paid me is after I impacted in you and he sees your increase. He now bless you to bless me. You refuse to bless me. I will now meet him. Lord, VCO, moon don't finish. I never get anything. I they go. I not go teach again. He start looking for another teacher that will take over his paper. These are prophet, pastor that are 100 years in ministry. They can't defend the truth because you are flying from one country to another. I'm not judging anybody. It is their inheritance. It is their rights. In the book of Hebrews 7 from verse 5, it was spoken there categorically. It is their right. God gave them commandments. He said, and indeed, those who are of the sons of Levi. You see, he, Paul now continue because God commandment to the Levi. We are this lineage. That is why those lineage are the one he called. He called them from the womb. Many of us that came from the root, like I'm from the root of prophet Jeremiah. A whooping prophet. I am the sons of that Levi. He now said, and indeed, those who are of the sons of Levi, who receive the priesthood, have a commandment. They are commanded. Have a commandment to receive tithes from the people according to that law. They are from the lawyers of Abraham. They have commandment. It is their right. It is their inheritance. Don't envy their inheritance. If you envy next generation, ask him to call you. It is their inheritance. Many people say, Apostle Paul did not preach about it. Jesus did not preach about it. Who told you? There are people like us which are Paul's in this disguise that we are in business. Apostle Paul was a lawyer. He had handwork. But through his ministration, others bless him. But he does not task the members that he preach. He uses what others blessed him to preach to them. That was where he was teaching them about tithes. People like Rit Abai now, he has companies. No company, open company. Church, no open company. I had business doing pretty well before into ministry. But if you don't bring your return now, you are insulting the God that brought me out and there is no way he can bless you. Look up here. God answering you is not unto my own grace. A man came and told them, he said, how much will it take to roof here? We told him, he said, wow, the money is, is small. You understand when I say the word? I don't, understand. I don't talk the way you talk. He said, as time goes on. He now looked at Vita and said, wow, but I love this prophet. This is what I can afford now. Look, Vita said, what is it? He said, this shirt, this is what I can afford. I want him to wear this shirt for me. Please pay, pay attention. This shirt was brought. I made it a shirt, came to my hand. This church phone rang. He said, Victor, do you know what I was looking for? I've gotten it now. That is true, sir. Now, somebody will ask, is it magnet? No. Once you give, obey God's commandment, a cup of water. God, give. I am not saying that I'm in need, just like Apostle Paul said. But anyone that preach on the altar, like doctors, doctors eat from the money the patient brings to the hospital. Any man of God that teaches on the altar is entitled of the blessings that God has given to him. They want thanks to him. You see, 
I can never be ashamed of the gospel because it's the word of God. When I see some men that we said before, 100 million come out because no member in your church again, you now start to see how you can change because devil is fighting it. Devil knows the only medium to offend God is titan because that is the only way he said, try me in this if I will not. People like Christ embassy, sorry for calling them, living faith. Talk about them. They will even insult you. Say, Waka, we know we have been grounded. If you say we have been brainwashed, we brainwash the truth word of God and it's blessing us. That's true, sir. But you see, those that doesn't know things about God, they will be unstable. Sir, the secret of my success is tight. Yes, sir. That is one of the things that made me hit my chest and say, I can never be poor. You think you can both such thing on air without you going down? Think about it. Have everything. Pause and have everything. No devourer. You will send people since 2012. Travel here, travel there. Everybody will go and come back. Think about it. Think about it. There are some amrobas that will go and steal. They will pay time. People say, hey, hey, hey. you know they walk. If they walk, I didn't tell you to go and steal. Abraham went, he stole, and he paid. And what happened? He was glorified. But your judgment awaiting you when you die. The only platform for riches is obeying that God word. In every kingdom, there is a key to that door. Yes, sir. That is the truth. When I see people crying, nothing is moving. Not, I will say, talk. Heaven knows. Even though I give you 100 million. Nothing will still make. That's when I, dash. when I give you money, dash, I say, give me tight. But you continue your business, you won't pay. This is God's word. He said it. As long as you must be a servant of God, a follower of God, you must be a tighter. Apostle Paul said it in 1 Corinthians 9, from verse 13 to 15. He expansiates on tight. He said, do you not know that those who minister the holy things eat of the things of the temple? And those who serve at the altar partake of the offering of the altar? Even so, the Lord has not commanded that those who preach the gospel should live from the gospel. That is why you but I have used none of these things. You see what I said? Nor have I written this thing. No. That it should be done so to me. Like what I'm preaching, I'm not preaching that I'm in need. Apostle Paul tell them, I'm not saying this, you know, so that you, this book you have to buy, thinking I'm writing this thing. You, all of you will say, let's go and give Apostle Paul a tight. But this is what God spoke in numbers. In the time of our fathers. He said, I write, I have written these things that it should be done so to me. I have written this, it should be done to me. No. For it will be better for me to die than that anyone should make my boasting void. People that will come, remember, they will come and tell me long ago, go and call daddy for me. That's true, sir. Say it tight. Go, get, I will tell them, get out. That's true, sir. Are you giving me your God? I have sons and daughters all over the globe. This is the only ministry that followed the same ministry of old. You see people putting what you can imagine. That's Never true. call any man. That's true, sir. Because when you think you are doing to man, you receive thank you and appreciation. Appreciation of friend. How are you? Fine. No. Let there be appreciation of God. God is a God of law. Whenever you say it, this is what you do. Do it. Mary told them, whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. Don't use your little knowledge to quantify. Why will I do this? The way I preach for you, free. I don't call people, come out here, gas here, no gas here. That shouldn't make you to know the law of God. Till the church I leave and that person take over, which is my son. God told me this. I will never call anyone of you and say, T, 
But I will keep on teaching you as a shepherd. If you don't give me, because I'm teaching truth and others are hearing it, God blesses me through others to preach for you. Second Corinthians 11, 7 to 8. And they'll be asking, how, he said, did I commit sin, Apostle Paul said, in humbling myself that you might be exalted because I preached the gospel of God to you free of charge. He said, I robbed other churches. That is, other churches that had him. They give him money. I robbed other churches, taking wages from them to minister to you. And when I was present with you, in need, he knew that the church over there in Philip, they like exalting their ego. And he doesn't want anybody to dis disrespect him. True prophets are saucy. True prophets are stubborn. They are arrogant. Now I'll tell you the truth. That's true, sir. And they are temperamental in nature. Little thing can provoke them. They can destroy a house they have built. Bad head man, bad head man. All of you die. If you staying under a pastor is different from staying under a prophet. A pastor, it can take him one year to cast out one demon. But a prophet, it can take him one second to cast out 1,000 demons. But a pastor can preach sermon, some assault it, and you will jump and say, wow, office is different. Show me the Bible. And when I was present with you and in need, I was a burden to no one. He was telling the church where he's ministering. For what I lack, the brethren who came from Macedonia, they supply it to him. And in everything, he kept himself from being a burden to them. And so, he keep himself. As the truth of Christ is in him, no one should stop him from boasting. Check this man's life. Apostle Paul, check Rita Bay's life. That's true, sir. So, there are people like us that preach the gospel. We won't like you to intimidate us about God. You see why we can't come to tell you, please. But if I don't tell you the truth tomorrow and we die, you will say, he did not tell us about time and that is the cause of our limitation. I teach just like Apostle Paul teach. So that you will not be faulted and say, but why he didn't tell me that that is his secrets? And if you have not been paying tithe, you just started paying, believe me, you must clear all the one. I like telling you truth. Even though it seems impossible for you to continue, it's none of my business. So that if we die, friends, in the second service, I will teach you what I wrote to them that opened up the eyes of many pastors in America. I will show you where first heaven is located, second heaven is located, and the third heaven is located. Yes, sir. Preached by no man, but by only one. Read Abai. Yes, sir. With all the biblical proofs. Yeah, you saw. Well, I'm teaching you this today so that you will not come to me and say, but Ogwaranye now, if he has told us, will we know. Jesus told them, pay tithes. Matthew 23, verse 23. He said, this one you could have lived. He said, what sorrow awaiting you? NLV. He said, what sorrow awaiting you? Teachers of religious law. And you Pharisees. Hypocrites. For you are careful to tithe. Hi, sir. This is New Testament. Jesus. They are careful. Show me a successful person is a tight, careful payer. He said, you are careful to tight. Even the thinnest income, even the thinnest income from your herb, from your greens, from your herbs, your herbs garden, you are careful the profit that come, you remove it. But you ignore underline English now, you ignore the more important aspect of the law. Justice, mercy, and faith. You should tithe. He didn't say you should not tithe. Like I told you, some will go and steal. 
pay tight, their money will be increasing. Is it not true? But after all the money and you die, is it useful? That's what Jesus was telling them. Seek for that thing that is eternal, which is your soul. But you want to make money, it's tight. He said, the weighted matter of the law is faith, mercy. He said, you should tithe. Yes. But do not neglect the more important thing that will take you to heaven. What shall it profit you after you have guided your wealth and your soul is not where to be found? Jesus never said you should not tithe. But you should not neglect the important thing. Salvation. But you want to be rich. The secret is to give the Levi their tithes. It is their inheritance. What they want to use it to do is none of your business. Mm -hmm.